the autofill feature in Excel is a feature that can save you a lot of time if you're utilizing it in your workbooks. If I look here at my data, I was playing around with this for a different video, but I have design one, design three, and then I have shirt five. That list doesn't go together. If I use the autofill, I can actually fix this list very easily. I went ahead and put my cursor here in A11. If I put my cursor in the bottom right hand corner of that cell now that I've selected it, notice that my cursor turns to a black cross. If I click and drag that down, notice it went ahead and fixed the other cells that had the shirt title in it. Let's go ahead and look at another example. Here in B21, I have the sum function adding up the small shirts. I can use autofill to do the same for the medium, large, extra large, and 2XL. I can use the autofill feature to carry over this function so I don't have to manually key in the sum functions for the other shirt sizes. Again, I'm gonna put my cursor here in the bottom right-hand corner of the cell, changes to a black cross. If I just click and drag to the right, Notice it copied that function over, and because it's a relative reference here, there's no dollar signs in my cell reference. Because it's relative, notice that for C, it changed the reference from B to C, and here it's D, E, and F. For this example, I used autofill and moved it to the right, but I can also do it down. Here I have another sum function here, adding up the design ones. So if I click and drag down with that black cross, Notice it went ahead and did the same thing. I have B12, B13. Let's look at some other examples here. Here I have the month of January. It Excel knows series, which is awesome. So for here, if I click and drag to the right, notice it went ahead and populated the months across. I can also go down on this. So you can see you can go either way. It knows days of the week. So if I wanted to do Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I would just have to type in Sunday and then use the autofill down. Here is an example of just one number. But when I copy and drag down, notice it doesn't realize that it's a series and it just copies it down. The same would happen if it was just a normal word. It would just copy it down. It wouldn't know what to do with it. My rule of thumb is if that happens to you, do a couple of them. So right here I have one, two. Usually I say the rule is three, but if I click and drag down, it knows one, two, three, four, and it will fill it in and I could go on and on and on with that. And here my series is just a little bit different. I have one and then three. If I click and drag down, notice that Excel knows that I'm skipping my two. The autofill feature is an awesome feature in Excel. You gotta start using it in your workbooks.